Hello, I'm Sue Sigman. You and I are about to participate in an exciting new learning experience. This is my hybrid business class. To start off, I'd like to explain what a hybrid course entails. A hybrid course contains face-to-face -face and online components. This means that you are required to be on campus on Tuesdays for your class time. During class, we will be working on various questions throughout the textbook in order to prepare you for the homework, quizzes, and discussions which are all completed online. Let's take a look at your class online together. You will see on the left that the class is organized with modules. Please begin with start here, read the information, and complete the various exercises as listed. Purchase your book, sign in to connect McGraw-Hill with your code as directed in the announcements, and get started. As soon as you finish reading this, complete your academic integrity. You can start by looking at all of your Start Here alignments and getting familiar. Next is the home page. You can see four important segments, my announcements, email, blog, and alerts. Course schedule. Your course schedule is into a download. Please print it out and follow it. Keep it nearby to keep you aware of the due dates. Missing due dates is the biggest reason for failure in an online or hybrid class. You must stay on track in order to prove success. Course announcements is where you will see all of my communication. And here is the first one that will help you to register and connect with the access code. Course information and syllabus contains the academic integrity policy and your course information. Please read all of this information and go through it to understand anything on their syllabus, your learning activities, your required materials, how you will be evaluated, and again here's the directions for Connect registration. Let's go down to communication we'll finish up with learning modules. Communication is how to communicate with me. You can send me an email and you can check your grades in this area. Resources. Resources will tell you where to find and cite an outside resource. It will show you your grading rubric which is very important of how you are graded on your discussions. This is the first step in hooking over to Connect. You will only use this tools once when you hooked up with Connect in this class. Other classes you use it more, but in this class you're going to use Connect through Blackboard. So you have to make sure that every time you go into the class you're in Blackboard and then go over to Connect, not directly into Connect. And this is Blackboard Help, SUNY Help, and an e-learning student support, which I highly recommend. I also recommend the orientations that they offer with uh, the student resources that you might not be aware of. So there's a schedule for orientation under your learning mods. So as you can see, I, I hit the learning mod click. It's the most important tab in the class. It contains all of your assignments. For example, this is learning module one. It contains the assignments for the first three weeks of class. Online and hybrid students can begin class a week early, therefore you have four weeks to complete learning module one. Please read the discussion instructions in module one and complete the icebreaker. Notice that you have to click Create Thread to see the assignment. Continue by filling in the subject line and writing your response in the block below and then click Submit. Please follow these directions for each discussion question in each module with the grading rubric printed out next to you to follow the criteria. 
So here's what we are talking about. Here are your discussion instructions. Go into the discussion, click on the grading information link. Now go back and choose create thread. Create thread is the only way you will see your assignment. You will start with an icebreaker. As you can see, a couple of people have already started. In order for you to see the assignment, you hit create thread, read the assignment, fill out the subject matter, begin your response. At the end, you would hit submit. Same thing for Discussion 1 in Module 1. When you click on Discussion 1, you cannot see the assignment. You only see everybody else's replies. Therefore, Create Thread gives you the assignment. Fill in the subject matter. Go to the box. Complete the assignment. Making sure you're following the grading rubric. And click Submit. Don't forget to reply to two others in the discussion. So when you read it, your discussion is based on completing the assignment, using two outside resources to back it up. Here's where you would find them under Resources. Following the grading rubric, you'll click on this and print it out. It will show you exactly what to do. And then replying to two others. From there you will do homework and quizzes which are all located in Connect. So you will click on it and it will convert over to Connect. So you are in Blackboard. You will go over to Connect to complete it and then you will come back to Blackboard to look at grades. The grades are usually in there immediately when you are doing something in Connect. However, the discussion grades are not in there for a couple of days and after the due date. So once again, homework will be opened in Blackboard and will connect to McGraw-Hill automatically. There are directions for each type of homework assignment. Please keep in mind that you have unlimited attempts at homework, but a point will be taken away each time. The first time you are doing any homework assignment, you have a check your work tab at the bottom. You can use this on your first try, but please use it to make sure that you have the answer correct. A green check mark will appear if you have the answer correct. At the end, return to Blackboard will always be on your left in order for you to go back to Blackboard once you've completed the assignment. Quizzes are timed with one attempt only, so they are not unlimited like the homework and they once you begin it they will keep going you cannot walk away and come back to it you must complete the entire quiz in one sitting therefore give yourself plenty of time and a quiet uninterrupted environment before you begin any quiz now that we have the course structure out of the way i'd like to tell you a little bit about myself i've been teaching marketing for almost 20 years and thoroughly enjoy the subject matter. My degree is in international business with most of my undergraduate work in marketing. I hope you enjoy these subjects as much as I do. We'll work together for you to gain an understanding of it and to advance your skills in communicating while participating in the discussion with the other students. Have a great semester.